Hello, my beautiful pound number ones. Today's reading is going to be who is secretly interested in you. So as a disclaimer, all right, the cards that come out is going to be all the characteristics about the person that is interested in you, okay? So we're going to hop right on into this reading, and I hope that it resonates for you. Let's get into it. Please make the messages as clear as possible. Who is secretly interested in pile number one? I, I am going to... I also have oracle cards for you guys. Can't even talk. But I have oracle cards for you guys already pre-shuffled. So we're going to jump right on in. <coughs> Excuse me. Who is secretly interested in my beautiful pile number ones? Who is secretly interested in pile number one? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. Who is secretly interested in pile number one? Who is secretly interested in pound number one, all right? We have the four of pentacles. Who is secretly interested in pound number one? I might take this card because it fell out like it was nothing. We have Capricorn energy here. We have the knight of swords. I'm not going to take this. It don't feel right. Who is secretly interested in pound number one? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. If it comes out again, then it was right. But right now, it don't feel right. We have the two of swords here, which is... um. Libra energy. Who is secretly interested in pound number one? I got all my background back there. All right. We have the justice card. Who is secretly interested in pound number one? Secretly interested in pound number one. All right. We have the three of cups. Who is secretly interested in pound number one? The three of cups is cancer's energy. Secretly interested in pound number one. We have the two of wands, which would be Aries energy. Who is secretly interested in pound number one? We have the five of cups, which would be Scorpio energy. Overall energy is the devil card. See, I was feeling that too. This is, wow. We have the ten of swords here. Back of the deck, wow. We have, the back of the deck is the page of pentacles, the ace of cups want to come out as well, all right? So, the person that is secretly interested in you, all right? I'm not going to front. This person, okay, because I'm getting mixed energy with this four of, of the four of pentacles being here. I feel like whoever this person is that's um, interested in you, they, I feel like they're in a sticky situation. It feels like they're in a situation they probably really don't want to be in with the Four of Pentacles being here. Like, probably in a situation because um, of financial reasons, you know? Um, it's like, hmm. I feel like whoever this is with the devil energy being like the overall energy, I feel like this person is either like, I, I, I don't, I hate that a lot of us tarot readers tend to associate the devil card with narcissism. Um, but I feel like this person is very egotistical. This person could be very addictive or this person is very addicted to you. I feel like this person is in a committed relationship i feel with this justice card being here that's what i'm getting this person that's interested in you is already like committed to somebody i feel that's what i'm feeling with the justice card i'm feeling like a contract like a soul contract like this person has like some type of soul contract maybe this person is a past life um um connection for you all right this person that you're interested um that secretly is interested in you may feel like they have uh it's like they have to be with you even though they know it's not the right thing to do. Look at that. <laughs> we have the Ten of Swords, the Will of Fortune, the Death card, and the Ten of Cups. It's like it shouldn't be happening, but they want it to happen. And it's like they have a family, and they don't care. And they want to. They really want this to, to work. Whoever this person is is definitely suppressing their feelings. We have the Three of Cups here. It's, it's, it's given third party. Uh, yeah, third party situation. This person wishes that it could work out. You see the three of cups here, but they already in like in a, 
the committed a committed relationship it's like they so sad that they had to like cut you off i feel like they had to cut you off this person that's secretly interested in you they cut you off they probably stopped talking to you cold turkey because they wasn't supposed to be talking to you they probably ended things with you because they really want they wanted something with you but it's like they already had something going on with somebody else i know this is going to be very triggering for a lot of people but this is what i'm getting from these cards it's like, because it's, it's, it's a lot of choices being made here. We have the two of wands, two of swords. They had to figure out which route they wanted to go. They had to figure out where they wanted to be. They want to be with um, where it's like really stable. You know, even though they probably really don't want to be in the situation. But they know that out of respect for you, they had to like end things with you. That's the person that's secretly interested in you. I feel like this person already have like, a, they're in a committed relationship. They're with somebody already. I'm going to get a couple of these kippers because I'm a little bit, this is a little bit flustered. <laughs> I'm a little flustered. I feel like this person is like, they have to end something. They have to make a choice. They have to end something because I feel like they don't, like I said, they don't want to put you in a third party situation. They don't want you to feel neglected. That's what I'm getting here with this five of cups. They don't want to make, um, they don't want to make you feel neglected. They don't want to make you feel like it's something else going on even though it really is something else going on but i feel like this person has a lot of respect for you this person that's secretly interested in you they have a lot of respect for you so they're willing to cut something off but they they got to make the right choice they have to make the right decision let's see what else we have make these messages as clear as possible who is secretly interested in my beautiful pound number ones give me three cards please who is secretly interested in pound number one they have to end something they have to they have to completely end something for something new to start that's why we got this um ten of swords here who is secretly interested in pound number one? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. Who is secretly interested in pound number one? We have number 18, child. Who is secretly interested in pound number one? Who is secretly interested in pound number one? We have number five, mature man. Who is secretly interested in pound number one? Secretly interested in pound number one. Secretly interested in pound number one. We have number 37, poverty. Bottom of the deck, we have number 32, despair. So like I was saying, yeah, this person, either this person has like children with somebody else or has a child with somebody else. And it's like, they don't want to automatically be like, all right, I'm cutting this off completely because you know, they have a kid with somebody. But I feel like this person could be a little bit, either a little bit older than you or this person is very smart, very mature for their age, whatever the case may be. Number 37, poverty. This person could be going through some shit right now. Living in poverty. Maybe this person's from the hood. You know what I'm saying? From the hood. This person is secretly interested in you. Like I said, with the four of pentacles, they're, like, they're staying in the situation for financial reasons. Let's see what else we have. We have growth, which says, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So I feel like with the same thing with this mature man, this person that's interested in you, I feel like they're very mature for their age. I feel like this is not a person that's going to sit there and um, take anything to the next level because they are, you know, with somebody or they don't want to lead you on in any way, shape or form. But I feel like going on here we also have flirt which says extending your lighthearted energy to others so this person could be very flirtatious you and this person may flirt all the time you and this person may text all the time and it's like um it feels good and stuff like that but sometimes they may um uh give you mixed signals like while you're flirting with them or while you're texting them or something like that it feels like they kind of pushing you away sometimes and you're just like what the fuck like what's going on here you know we was just flirting we were just texting we were just talking we was just you know it felt i felt a connection here but i feel like this person doesn't want to be disrespectful to who they're with because i feel like this person is with somebody okay this person that's interested in you they have they have someone <laughs> and with this justice card here maybe this person is even married or this person has some type of some type of um legal agreement to be with somebody or soul contract with someone we also have here number six, it says material and spiritual prosperity. So this person could be, um, like I said, with this growth, mature man, this person could be very, cause I, we didn't get any Kings or anything here. You know, we didn't get any Kings. So this person could be someone that is a, a dreamer. Like they 
can see that they can be very successful. They can see that they can do this. You know, this person is a huge dreamer, you know, a huge dreamer, a huge believer. This person, like the two of wands being here with the um the world in their hand, this person feels like they have the world in their hand. This person, I'm trying to tell you, this person could be a narcissist, okay? Very egotistical. Very egotistical. We also have here number one, it says passion ignite. Like you give you make this person feel something they haven't felt in a while. I know that's um very taboo, that's fine. But I feel like you 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 just make them feel something they haven't felt in a while because they probably was with this person for a minute. You know, you make them feel like, ooh, this feels this feels good, this feels nice. You know, this it feels good to flirt with somebody new. It feels good to, you know, have a little bit more attention. We also have here number eight, emotional withdrawal. So it's just like it's like a tug and pull kind of situation. Though some of you may already like speak to this person, like have casual conversation with this person. This person flirts here and there with you. But then other times it's like they act real nonchalant. They act real distant. And you're just like, what the fuck? And what the fuck is, they may have someone. They have a committed relationship. They're married. Or, you know, they have some type of soul tie with somebody, you know? They got some work that they got to do within themselves or in that connection before they can even be like, oh, hey. Let's, let's, let's do the do, all right? So my beautiful pal number one is all I have for you. I hope that it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comment section. I will catch you guys in the next read. Peace out, baby. Hello, my beautiful pal number two. Today's reading is going to be who is secretly interested in you. So this is going to be characteristics of the person that is interested in you. So take what resonates, leave what does not. And let's hop right on in. Split in the deck, we do have the high priestess. So you may already know exactly who this is. So let's see. Make these messages as clear as possible. Who is simply interested in pile number two? One more shuffle. Who is simply interested in pile number two? Who is secretly interested in pile number two? I do have some oracle cards already pre-shuffled, so we're gonna get into that after we do tarot. Who is interested? Who is secretly interested in pile number two? We have the Page of Wands here, so this person could be a fire sign, which is Sagittarius Leo Aries. Who could be, what? Who is secretly interested in pound number two? Who is secretly interested in pound number two? Who is secretly interested in pound number two? All right. We have the Five of Cups. I'm not, uh, this feels wrong. Hold on. Who is secretly interested in pile number two? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. Who is secretly interested in pile number two? Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Who is secretly interested in pile number two? We have the Death card here, Scorpio energy. Who is secretly interested in pile number two? Okay. We have the Queen of Swords. Who is secretly interested in pile number two? We have the moon card. Who is secretly interested in pile number two? Hmm. Hmm. We have the two of cups. Um, hmm. We have the, the ten of the ten of cups. The hell. We have this uh the towel card here. We got the towel card. I'm seeing the three of swords, the five of cups, back of the deck. We have the hangman. Hmm. These readings is getting real interesting. What the hell? Okay. Maybe more men is going to be watching this, pal, this reading. Excuse me. But let's get into the tea. So who is secretly interested in pal number two? With the page of wands being here, this is someone that is definitely very career driven. This person is someone that likes to, is, I feel like they're very adventurous as well. I feel like this person is definitely someone that is, they enjoy sex. You know, this person could be a little bit younger than you. They have a lot of stamina, all right? But the, with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, it's giving me what the fuck. <laughs> it's giving me what the fuck. This is not going to resonate for everybody, but take what resonates. This this could be a person, like I said, this person could have a lot of stamina. This person could be someone that is um, that likes poly relationships, okay? For my men, you may have two suitors here, the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. But I feel like the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles are kind of real close the only thing is the queen of pentacles is i feel like she's uh more calm she's more collected you know the queen of swords is like i'm gonna slit your fucking stop playing with me don't disrespect me you know what i'm saying 
But I feel like this is a person that could be very feminine. They could be very in tune with their femininity. They like to be very well groomed. They like having their nails done. Um, you know, clear coat clear co uh, coat of nail polish on their nails, very clean fingertips. I don't know why I'm getting the nail situation, but my men is probably someone that likes to have their nails done on a regular base. I feel like this is per this is a person that is, it's like, we gotta be sworn in. This is someone that, um, with the moon card, they're very mysterious, and I feel like loyalty is very important to them. Who have, um, this person that's secretly interested in you, with the two of cups being here, it's giving me, like, oh, it's given that they ask this is probably commitment. Like they, commitment is very important to them. Like like I'm saying, I'm trying to tell you, they like having people like sworn in with them. Does that make sense? The Ten of Cups being an overall energy, I feel like this is a person that's a family person. They, they, they like family. They may like having kids. They like, they may enjoy being around children, you know? With this moon card, they could be um, hiding their um, their lifestyle that they, they live. Like I said, it could be the fact that this person is, uh, like, poly. They could be interested in a poly relationship. They could have they could like the fact that they have a lot of people that is interested in them. Like I said, with this page of wands being the first card that came out, is given the fact that this person has a lot of stamina. This person, you know, they stand up at attention at all times. Like, no matter if this person is young or old, however the situation may be, this person could be a little bit um, younger. But this person is like... And another thing I'm getting here as well, maybe this person has... Um, like, with the Ten of Cups being here, this person may have more than one... Um, child parent i don't know because I, I i don't want to say baby mother because that's 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 the terminology right there this person can have more than one baby mother <laughs> you know like i said for the men you can have more than one suit um yeah more than one suitor you can have uh aquarius Libra gemini or a virgo virgo taurus capricorn that is interested in you This, with this two of cups, this person does not fa um, fear commitment. Like, this person enjoys commitment. But it's given, like, they have more than one person. Like I said, this person could be interested or they like they enjoy um, poly relationships. I'm looking at this death card and it's just giving, what the hell? Let me see what I got with this. Make these messages as clear as possible. Who is secretly interested in pal number two? Please make these messages as clear as possible. Universe, who is secretly interested in pal number two? We have number 25, High Honor, who is secretly interested in pound number two. Um, we have number nine, Change. We also have here number 35, Pathway. And the bottom of the deck, we have number 12, Privileged Lady. It's, it, it's, ooh. It's interesting. Like, I just... But the number 25 high honor is it's like I said this person could be a very high high valued individual with this ten of cups being here. This is someone that like values family. This person values committed relationships. But I feel like they have more than one suitor. They have more than one person that they are dealing with. You know what I'm saying? And they enjoy dealing with more than one person, but they like to make sure you feel like it's just you and them. That's why we got the two of swords here. This would be a, a very different type of connection for a lot of you, okay? The person that's secretly interested in you, I feel like they may, I'm not going to say they're going to change your mind, but with this number nine change and also number 35 pathway, it would be like something very different. <laughs> this would be something very different for um, those of you that picked this pile. This would be very different. Ten of Cups being here, I, I really do feel like this person has more than one person that they have a child with. Okay, let's see. Because like I said, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Tower card. We have Adversity. And for me, the Tower card and Adversity is basically the same thing. It says, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Um, this person that's secretly interested in you, this would be a very shocking situation. This would be something that's just like, what the fuck? Very unexpected, you know? 
But I feel like this person likes commitment. This person likes people committed to them. This person may also not like the feeling of like feeling alone. We also have here new lovers as a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. This person is secretly interested in you. I'm trying to tell you this person may have other people that they're interested in or other people that they're talking to with the queen of swords and the queen of pentacles. Um, <clears throat> we have number 14 patience. I feel like this person is waiting for you to be like, all right, um, let's talk or let's, let's, let's see what happens here. Some of you may know that this person is in a poly relationship or they um, doing a polygamy situation and you're just like, for you, that would be a very different type of situation. Very, um, yeah, very different type of situation. Or the fact that, that this person does have two baby mothers or whatever the case is or two people that they have kids with and you're just like, mm, that's a little bit much for you. We also have here number 17, plan, um, patience. And look at that, patience and plan. And like this person is trying to get to you. This person is trying to be with you. They want to be with you. I feel like they're just trying to find a way to tell you like maybe they have two different situations. We also have here number 21, universe, which is also equivalent to the world card. So I feel like this person is willing to travel to you. This person is willing to come to you. But it's just like... They got a lot of shit going on here. But yeah. That's what I have for you. This is a, that's a lot going on here. I might have to change the title. So my beautiful pound number two is all I have for you. I hope that it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comment section. I will catch you guys in the next read. Peace out, babies. Hello, my beautiful pound number three. Today's reading is going to be who is secretly interested in you. So... <laughs> yeah we're gonna jump right on in these last two the last the first one and the second one it's just, it was given very messy so we're gonna see hopefully this one is not as fucking messy so we're gonna do this one more time make these messages as clear as possible who's secretly interested in pal number three i do have some oracle cards that's already pre-shuffled and we're gonna just hop right on into your reading okay make these messages as clear as possible who is secretly interested in pal number three please make these messages as clear as possible who is secretly interested in pal number three Ooh. Who is secretly interested in pound number three? We have the world card here. Who is secretly interested in pound number three? We have the towel card here. Who is secretly interested in pound number three? Sheesh, we have the star card here. Who is secretly interested in pound number three? Secretly interested in pound number three. Wow, we have the lovers card here. Who is secretly interested in pound number three? Give me two more cards, please. Who is secretly interested in pound number three? We have the Queen of Cups. Who is secretly interested in pound number three? Wow, we have the Sun card. Over our energy is the Strength card. A lot of fucking major arcanas. We also have the King of Wands here. And we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay. We have Aquarius energy, Leo energy, Gemini energy. We have Leo energy twice. So who is secretly interested in you? So this person with the star card being here, this person could be in a public eye in some way, shape, or form. This person could have some type of recognition. A lot of people that um, know them, okay? Like if they was to walk around with you, they would be like, oh, you know, very well known. Um, with the world card being here, this person may enjoy traveling. This person, uh, could be at a distance, maybe. With this lover's card, this person could be a soulmate or maybe even a, a twin flame. I feel like this person is um, secretly interested in you. This is like a divinely protected kind of connection. This would be a very, it's given twin flame kind of energy here. Very masculine energy here as well. With the queen of cups being here, this person is very um, nurturing, very caring. You know, this person is very attractive with the king of wands here. And then, wow, then we have the emperor card right underneath of it. Like this person is like, your perfect person, I feel. With the tower card being here too, the, the, it's, it's giving like, oh shit, I didn't expect this. Like this person that's secretly interested in you, um, 
I feel like this person is very magnetic. This person glows. It's like a lot of you may know exactly who the fuck I'm talking about. This person is very confident as well. Very confident. This person is intuitive. This person is a healer. Hmm. This person could be very spiritual as well. But this person exudes a lot of confidence. This person is like... I'm not feeling any really bad energy here. The Queen of Cups, like I said, this person can be someone that is very nurturing, very caring, very loving, intuitive, very in tuned with themselves, very aligned with themselves, you know? I see this person be very vulnerable too. Anytime, because we have a lot of naked cards, this person's very vulnerable. This person's in the space of, like they're open, if that makes sense. Like this person wants happiness. This person wants true commitment and love. This person's not coming here to play. Like whoever this is that is secretly interested in you, they're not coming to play. Let's see what else we have. Let's get some Kipper. Make these messages as clear as possible. Who is secretly interested in my beautiful pound number threes? Who is secretly interested in pound number three? We have number 31, bad health. Who is secretly interested in pound number three? No. Who is secretly interested in pound number three? Who is secretly interested in pound number three? So this person, I feel like we have number 33 concerned at the bottom of the deck. We have number 26, great fortune. We have number 30, adjudication. And we also had number 31, bad health. I feel like this person, they could be, a, maybe they're older, doesn't have to be. This person could be someone that has a lot of money. Or this person, like I said, they could be in the public eye in some way, shape, or form. For some of you, you may have like a star that is interested in you, like a real star, like a, someone that's famous. Um, someone like if you walk around with them, I feel like this person is like maybe um, internationally known. Number 31, bad health is kind of like throwing me for a loop. Let me see what else we have with these cards here. We have indecision. It says I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Like I said, this person is very intuitive, highly intuitive. This person that's secretly interested in you, I feel like this person's confused about why they feel so connected to you. This is, this is like I said, this is giving me a soul contract, past life connection, um, a twin flame type of situation here. And with the bad health, I feel like this person, like I said, they glow, they're very magnetic, and I feel like sometimes their energy get drained a lot. And I feel like that's why this person be in bad health. We also have here honeymoon. It says enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. I feel like this person is like a, a fresh feel. This is someone new. Someone that you haven't dealt with, I feel. We also have here number four, disconnect and boredom. We have number four, wow. We have number four, authority, which would be equivalent to the emperor. We have number six, third eye chakra. Like this person is very woke, very spiritually woke. This person is very open-minded as well. This person, like I said with the world card, this person could be at a distance. This person is your divine masculine. Like, this is your divine masculine. This is someone that, it's like they, they have all these feelings for you and they don't even know why they have so many fucking feelings for you. Very interesting. Very interesting. They don't know what to do with all these feelings. They feel like a little bitch. <laughs> with the queen of cups being here, this person feels like a little bitch. And it's just like, you came into their life and I feel like you gave them that tower moment, that what the fuck moment. But they know that it feels right. It feels good with this um number six, third eye, um, third eye chakra. Like intuitively, they know it's like, 
You know, pile number three makes me feel good. Pile number three makes me smile. Like I'm warm and fuzzy on the inside. This is someone that is very, very masculine. Very, very, very masculine. But that's all I have for you. I hope that it resonated. Child, this this reading was a hot. We, we going to see how y'all feel about it. <laughs> I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, babies.